Namaste family, welcome back to my channel, Black Sheep One Wolf Tarot. I'm here to do January's mid-month love reading for the sun sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, Cancer. This is your love reading. So let's get right on into it. <clears throat> We have here religious factors. So someone's beliefs and how they work, how they do things, you know, how they go about things differs from you. It says here, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this person may not be as spiritual as you or have more spirituality knowledge than you or they don't agree with you on a lot of things. So there's a challenge. It is saying, Cancer, it is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive highest energy of all. <clears throat> Second time this card came out, honeymoon. Someone wants to spend more quality time with you. Someone wants more quality time with cancer. Okay, so let's, you know, I'm going to get an explanation for these religious factors. It is safe for you to love and honeymoon. Okay. Let's see what's really good. So we have relationship improvements. So this person who normally does not agree with you on your beliefs, or you may not see eye to eye, um, the relationship will improve. It will have improvement. Yeah, seeing clearly. You or them will see clearly on how to agree to disagree. Because uh, spirit basically does not want you to give up on your love life or this person. <clears throat> yes. Throw in some positive energy. Throw in some positive energy that everything will work out to its highest good. Positive energy and ask for help. Spirit is saying to ask for help. Ask, ask your guys if you don't have friends or family. Ask your friends and family if you don't, you know, how to how to tune into. Why is my cards all flipped? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just noticing my cards are flipped every which or why, and I don't like it at all. <clears throat> sometimes I would take reversal, sometimes I just don't. And I'm gonna fix this while I talk to y'all. <clears throat> Okay, and um, if you've left a past person, if this is not a past person, um, Spirit wants you to be more positive about your love life. Don't go in into anything with old, you know, stagnant energy or any regrets, you know, because you won't have that energy to really seek the necessary help that you need. And if you're concerned, Spirit is saying it is safe for you to love. There, I'm, I'm getting a lot of fear-based energy because we have the religious factor. Religious factors, and it's, it's safe for you to love. Yeah, because we have here. There's a lot of messages getting ready to come to you because we have the letter. We have the bird and bird house. We have the cross here. Okay. Yeah, someone can't wait to communicate with you and really share how they feel. Clear communication. This could also be a past person that you're at a cross with, a crossroad with on communicating to them or communicating with them. Mm -hmm. 
this person makes you feel grounded we have the anchor and the compass they make you feel grounded and uh, more assured on where you're going some people get in relationships and they're not clear or they're not sure on where this relationship is going this person helps you feel grounded and secure and comfortable in the relationship so that'll give you a clue as to who i'm talking about as well as this person gives you an idea on where the relationship will go in the future okay we have the fox and the clover this person um they may keep secrets in regards to money or finances they don't tell you how they make their money or where extra money is coming from they're lucky with money but they also spend money secretly secretively that could have been an issue presently or in the past Yeah, you have definitely, you have the scythe and the, um, this is my garden card. I have to <laughs> make sure that's the right garden. Okay, anyways, for me, this person says there definitely was an ending with this person. But there may be a reconciliation or at least communication about a reconciliation. So, you know what? I'm going to spill the tea. Y'all hold on. I'm going to find out more. What this person got going on and why you feel like you feel and what's going on what's really going on behind the scenes you know <clears throat> okay so we're gonna spill the beans oh yeah <laughs> spill y'all don't heard the term y'all don't heard that phrase spill the beans spill the beans Spill it. <laughs> spill it, spirit. Spill it. Spill it. Spill it. Spill it, spirit. Spill it. Hey, spirit. <laughs> spill it. Spill it. Spirit to spill the beans on your person. What's really good? Cancer. What's really good with your person? Protection. Needed to stay safe. Protection. So you're protecting your energy, you're protecting your space. Yeah, let me see something. Yeah, she got a gun behind her back. So maybe you was dealing with a person who may have been violent, either physically or spiritually. Mm -hmm. This person was dealing with fake friends. This person was promiscuous, sleeps around a hope, free for all, sleeps with your man. The person promiscuous person. That's male or female, okay? Expecting new beginning. Um, I see this both ways. Some of you are expecting a new beginning or they are expecting a new beginning with you, or someone is expecting a child from this person. <clears throat> You are a karmic person because it says here this person is promiscuous. Setting the record straight. Y'all getting some straightening. Y'all setting shit straight with this person. Crush. This person has a big old crush, a big fat crush on you. <laughs> They're crushing on you, like right? yeah. But um, I also heard secret admirer. Some of you may have outside of this relationship here, you, you or them could have a someone has a secret admirer. Investigating somebody been doing some detective work. Either they're spying on you or you're spying on them or y'all are spying on each other, however that goes. 
and that's to investigate it so that you can set the record straight. This person can a person can't lie to you, be deceitful to you if you go ahead and get the receipts, the pictures, the evidence to say and lay that shit out. Here's this, this, that. Here's the receipts. So there's no more dishonesty. There's no more deceit. Here are the receipts. So whatever crush you got, you know, the fake friends that's been telling you this, here's this, that, and the third, you know? Yeah, someone is definitely setting some shit straight. This person is a bugaboo. They could probably ring your line 24-7. Uh, you could block them. They'll still call private, you know? As long as they, you know, you see that, <laughs> that they are still interested and they still have something to say. Oh, uh, yeah. This person could be dealing with the bugaboo. Mm-hmm. Sports. Yeah, someone's um, <laughs> someone's doing something for sports. They have here watching sports, but someone's doing something for sports. Like they think it's fun. They think it's fun in games. They think being a bugaboo is fun in games. <laughs> That's with somebody. Envy. This person is jealous. If you're moving on, if you're dealing with someone else, this person definitely envies you. They're jealous. Yeah, betrayal, deceit, backstab, traitor. Not to be trusted. You're dealing with someone who is a betrayal. Someone who's sneaky, dishonest. They envy you. They've been giving you fake apologies. They're not sincere. And they are buggable. They do it for sport. They do it for fun. They think it's cute. Okay, let's move on. Let's get some official, unofficial messages from your person. <clears throat> what they may have already communicated or they want to communicate but haven't. Okay. You forced me to heal my wounds. So this person, um, they have things and issues that they need to heal from and they haven't. But being with you has forced them to acknowledge it. Divorce. Some of them are <clears throat> going through a divorce. They need to go through a divorce or they want to go through a divorce with someone. Um, I've heard that if you're if this was a person that was married and um, they're divorced they have gone through several divorces with people so for you that was already a red flag <clears throat> I know who you are to me And this is a second like separation card release. We have here release and divorce. This person knows you're done done. Okay, this person knows you are done done with them. Someone has definitely brought an ending here. But if you are a soulmate or a twin flame, they know who you are to them. You know, but they still just they the timing, <clears throat> the maturity I'm getting was just not right and they have a lot of growing up to do okay i know i can't give you what you need financially emotionally spiritually this person knows they can't give that to you so they know that you if you have to divorce them if you have to release them leave them alone they understand why even though they may bug you they know why I felt every tear you've cried. This person is tapped into you emotionally. Could be dealing with another Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces.
heat. Cheapest creepers, yeah, this person definitely spies on you. They try to watch you, so that's why you're feeling like, you know, you may be walking around with a gun, a knife, a taser. Yeah, you know this person spies on you. So if you gotta use that done daughter, you gonna use it, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, Cancer, this has been your mid-month. Y'all come back and see me. Y'all come back and view more readings. Peace, love, take care.